Lisa from Fisher's Fire Department and Beth from Sugar Creek Township Fire Department. And in these days with the everything going on, I thought it might be a good thing if we got together and we talked about some basic kitchen safety. Well, here's the lovely kitchen, Lisa's lovely kitchen, and she decided she'd share it with us. So we're going to just go back and forth and talk about some basic things that we can do to keep our cooking safe. Lisa. First thing I see, and I know you did this just for me today, dish towel on the oven. Good idea or bad idea? Bad idea. Why is that a bad idea? Your vent for your oven is right here under the handle. Not sure if you can see it on the camera or not, but when your oven's on, it blows hot air out of here to keep your oven regulated. And if you have a towel right there, you're going to block the vent and you can have a fire. Smart idea. So we'll get rid of this uh, uh, dish towel. The other thing that I know that a lot of people do is instead of grabbing an oven mitt, they will grab a dish towel to pick up their pan. Good idea or bad idea? Uh, it's definitely a bad idea. See how the tail of your towel is touching the burner? Absolutely. Also, if your towel is damp or wet, it conducts heat. So if your handle is warm, it will burn your hand. Burn your hand. So the other thing I noticed about this is our pan handle is going out. And a lot of people will do that, not thinking, but if you accidentally bump into this or you have small children, that pan comes over, where does that hot grease or hot liquid go? It goes on us. So turn your pan handles in so that nobody's tempted to grab it. Make sure it's not right over another burner because then you can have an issue. Um, One thing I like to do, mm -hmm. I noticed your pan already had the lid on it. When I am cooking, even if I don't need to use the lid, I make sure I have the lid out and ready because if your pan got too hot and your food ignited, you had a fire, the best thing to do is to grab your oven mitt, grab your lid, slide it over whatever it is that you're cooking, and turn off the burner. And leave it off and don't peek because we have people that will want to go in and see if mm -hmm. there is a fire or not still. And the thing is, is that offers air to that fire. If you offer air to that fire, it will come back. So we want to leave that uh, pan lid on and closed. We don't want to peek. Another problem I see, and my kids used to do this, they would bring their homework in and show it to me while I was cooking. So keep papers and things of that nature away from where you're cooking. That can cause a real issue. Anything that can burn, you should keep away from your stove. Paper towels, um, plastic bags from the grocery store. If your stove is near the window, the curtains, long sleeves, anything that is Combustible. Combustible means it can burn. Right. So another thing is a lot of people don't think about their microwaves. I mean, because it doesn't actually get hot on the outside, we just don't stop to think about how hot things are on the inside. For your kiddos, for you, those of you who have kiddos, we want to make sure that we don't allow them to take anything out of the microwave if the microwave is over their head. And if you are a shorter cook, I have family that's shorter cook, try to lower that microwave because when you take something out of the microwave and the microwave is higher than your head, you're looking up as you're pulling it out and you have more opportunity to be burnt. And every year there are multiple people that are seen in the burn units because they have something spill on them. And usually it's right down their front, which is, is major burn issues, burn area. So there's certain things we can and can't use in the microwave, Miss Lisa. What can we use? What can't we? You have to be careful about what kind of mugs you put in there to warm up your coffee or your tea. On um, this particular mug, the handle gets really hot when we microwave it. Um, so you want to check that out because if it's really hot and you grab it, you're going to get a burn or you're going to spill on yourself. Um, for sure, no metal in the microwave. This metal bowl that came with my mixer, I want to melt a little bit of butter and stick it in there. We're going to cause a fire because metal and the radiation from your microwave will cause sparks. Um, and plastics, some plastics are okay in the microwave if you're not concerned about chemicals leaching into your food, but this disposable plastic container, this might melt if you leave it in for too long. So like anything else when you're using the microwave, don't walk away, stay there, keep an eye on it. I know the timer will go off and beep and let you know when it's done, but if you're standing right there uh, and you're monitoring what's going on, you can stop the fire before it starts. Something else that's good with the plastic or the, the um, microwavable dishes is to, when you go to open them, use your hot pad because just because that microwave's not hot doesn't mean that isn't. And 
preferably not with someone like Miss Lisa standing right across from me, but open it away mm -hmm. from you so that the steam from whatever you've cooked And so the steam won't come out and get you um, and burn your hands. Or your face. Or your face, absolutely. So, so much for our kitchen safety minute. We hope you learned some new things. Thanks a bunch for joining us today. Have a great day. Bye.